Take a look at these guys! The latest Minecraft snapshot slash Bedrock Beta introduced the boat with chest into the game. My name is Bruno and today we're going to take a closer look at it as well as providing some useful tips and tricks to make the most out of this amazing new item. Let's get to it! But first, a disclaimer. The boat with chest is still in development and its features can and may change before the final release. Leave a comment down below with what you think about it. It's important that we voice our opinions. The devs are listening. Oh, and also hit that subscribe button for more amazing minecraft content let's get started by doing a quick recap of its features you can craft the chest boat by combining any type of boat with a chest you'll get the same chest boat type as the boat you put in you access its symmetry by shift clicking on it if you're on the ground just like you would with a mule or by directly opening your inventory if you are riding it you can put any type of item in it including shulker boxes on bedrock if it breaks it drops a chest a boat and any item it had inside on java instead of splitting into a boat and a chest it will drop itself as an item there is one exception though and it happens only on Minecraft Java when you fall from certain very specific heights but we'll take a look at that later on the video sadly it can't be placed by a dispenser like normal boats can it can interact with hoppers and hopper minecarts both for loading and unloading more on this topic on the advanced section of the video also in bedrock edition you can attach a lid to it to take multiple chest boats with you and that's it for the basics now it's time to take a look at its use in survival Minecraft on the early game it's very common for players to get their inventory filled with items particularly when exploring in different biomes to get all the basic resources. The chest boat is really useful in this part of the game, making it so you don't have to return to your base as often. This gives you a lot more freedom when exploring. I can really see the chest boat becoming one of the core parts of the Minecraft early game. The only downside to it though is that it's very dependent on water. It forces you a bit to stick to rivers or ocean biomes. If you think about it, it serves as a water counterpart to the mule, both not just offer increased inventory space but also faster travel speeds. It can also be very good to use, for example, to transport large quantities of items from your mine to your base or from one project to the other even in the late game after obtaining energies it may still remain useful but enough speculation now it's time to take a look at the first trick for using the chest boat picture this you come back to your base with a chest boat filled with stuff if you want to unload it you'll have to get down from it take everything you can carry drop it in a chest at your base and then come back and get the rest of the items this can be pretty boring and inefficient so let me introduce you to the concept of the chest boat boat unloading station now the fancy name may sound scary but let me show you the most basic design you come back to your base from exploring and park your boat in this dock if you open your inventory you'll see that the items are getting removed from the chest boat once it's empty you can turn around and continue exploring after you're done you come here and all your items will be on these chests this design is super simple it chose four hoppers connected to a chest as we said earlier the chest boat interacts with hoppers so we can automate the whole process but maybe this unloading speed is too slow for you maybe you are already coming up with some ideas how do we go faster for that we got this second design over here it's a little bit more advanced but still pretty simple to build let's do a little demonstration as you see the chest boat gets emptied way faster than in the previous method this is because we are aligning the chest boat to be on top of nine hoppers and all of them take iron from it at the same time the trick here is that the hitbox of the chest boat is bigger than a block around a block and a third and by using these walls we make sure that its hitbox is on top of all nine hoppers then we have a double speed hopper to keep up with the iron flow and that's it all these designs are pretty simple of course when you're done you come over here and you have all the items on these chests but what if i told you that there is one way to go even faster and that is of course by making use of hopper minecarts this design is the fastest of the three let's fill this up and drive inside take a look at this i don't think it gets faster than this the only trick with this design is that you need to properly align all the hopper minecarts underneath the boat and in order to do that we make use of some glass panes placed in some specific locations that we then use to push the hopper minecarts into the proper position the hitboxes not only need to be underneath the one of the boat with chest but also they need to be on top of each one of the hoppers if you take a look down here you'll see that all the items from the boat chest are getting split between 12 hoppers to be honest i feel like this is a little bit too much for the use we want to give it we are talking about early game exploring over here but this principles are what make the boat with chest so interesting for the technical community let me know down in the comment section if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to build all of this now it's time to move on to another chest boat trick and for this we'll make use of the fact that the boat with chest can be put into a minecart 
Look at that. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Bruno, why on earth would I like to put a boot with chest inside a minecart? Especially considering that we already have a minecart with a chest. Well, the reason for that is hitboxes. As you can see, the hitbox of the minecart with chest is a little bit smaller than the one of the boat with chest. Here you can see them side to side. It's quite bigger. So, if you put the boat chest inside a minecart, a little bit of a hitbox will come out on both sides. So if we fill it with items, you'll see that both these chests are getting filled. This, for example, can be used in a furnace array. You open the boat with chest, put all the smeltable items inside, and both sides of the furnace will lit. This is not something particularly crazy. All it's doing is that instead of using one minecart per each line of furnaces, we're using one for both. So overall, the design is a little bit more compact. But I'm sure that the technical community is going to come up with more useful ways to use this in different contraptions. Now, before we move into the last boat with chest trick, I made you guys a promise. And that promise has to do with that pillar over there. It's time for me to show you the worst bug about the boat with chest. In case you didn't know, in Java Minecraft, and only in Java Minecraft, there is a bug regarding the boats, where if you fall from some very specific heights, your boat will break and you will instantly die. Let me set my spawn and we'll do a little demonstration. So up here we place a boat, jump into it, switch to survival mode, I'll get rid of this. And goodbye! Instant death. But not just that, when the boat breaks like this, instead of dropping itself as an item, it will drop planks and sticks. There is no way to escape this bug, you will die even if you got the best armor in the game. But what happens with the boat with chest is even stranger. Let's get rid of this, let's fill it with some very valuable items, we'll ride it again, switch to survival, and go down. If after you respawn you go and check what items were dropped, you'll see that all the items that were inside the boat with chest have been destroyed. Destroyed forever! I find it very interesting that even after introducing a new type of boat to the game, Mojang hasn't fixed the good old boat bug. Just so you know, this bug happens at heights 12, 13, 49, 51, 111, 114, 198, 202, 310, and 315. Some have called it the strangest bug in Minecraft, and now it has a new face. I did promise one more trick though, but it's getting quite late, and that last tip requires some testing. So what I'll do is leave it for another video. Now it's your turn to tell me, what do you think about the boat with chest? Do you think you'll use it? In which situations? Leave a comment down in the comment section. Also leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Bruno. This was the boat with chest and I am out. Goodbye.